Ready? I enjoy climbing on foot and on a bike. I don't know why as I weigh 92 kg, so I'm not the streamlined buoyant frame of the typical hill climber, but I'm a lot more streamlined now than I used to otherwise be. And with my newly discovered love of cycling, I've realized that I like cycling up hills on Zwift. And now because of my fairly recent London to Brighton bike ride in real life too. Okay, so this is the start here, where we've just turned in. This is the start of Box Hill. It's three miles, it says, that sign says, to the cafe at the top. Is that enough? I think this might take you longer than seven minutes. Yes, it probably will. I don't know what the, um, the Strava record is, but I'm not going to come anywhere near it. This bit seems quite a bit steeper. And then that's it. This is the top, this is the cafe. I'm here at a really, really windy, rainy, cold. It's absolutely soaking. But I'm here at Box Hill. It's really raining. We're gonna, I'm gonna get on the bike and just go because my camera's not waterproof. Now I did have a much longer intro planned, but it was chucking it down and Tracy, my camera woman for the day, decided this was enough of an intro as she was getting wet and she needed the loo. goodness okay <coughs> recording so I've got Tracy with me today to film it but the problem is it's such a bad day to do this that I was that close by the time I got here when it was just torrential rain the whole it hasn't stopped raining all day all day yesterday the ground is so drenched so I'm gonna drive down set the bike up down there I've got the bike in the back drive down there, set it up, and then Tracy's gonna try and follow me up and do some cinematic shots. That's the plan. So having said all that, I rocked up at a very wet and windy box hill in the Surrey countryside to give it a go for no other reason than just to have some fun, or as much fun as you can have on a bike in the rain. Here she is. How do you feel about doing this in the pouring rain? Do I look like I'm happy? So I was just saying to camera that you're going to try and film some cinematic shots of me coming up on the bike. Yeah. Alright, oh, okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Don't look too enthusiastic to camera. When I did the London to Brighton bike ride back in the summer, the bits I enjoyed the most were the hill climbs. I got a kick out of trying to beat the climb while simultaneously trying not to break a hip, having lost all momentum and then not unclipping in time. That looks quite steep. <laughs> So as I faff around at the bottom of the hill climb start, and even though this part looks annoying, it was for Tracy, and she made her thoughts on filming me in the rain quite clear. Get on then. I'm not going to get on with the pavement. I need to check that I've put the wheel on properly. Now I will say that I did have a bit of a nervy start because I haven't cycled IRL for ages. You know what I've done wrong? And I only started IRL cycling this year for the first time since I was a teenager. Right, go, go, go. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm nervous. I'm, my feet won't clip in. So you'll have to forgive all the mistakes you're about to watch unfold in this comical attempt at a new PB. Please don't say I've got to change my cleats. Has that clipped in? Three miles. Three miles uphill in the rain. My feet won't clip in. Oh, I've clipped it. No, I'm not. I then realised that something was wrong with my cleat on my right shoe, but rather than stopping now to fix it, which I should have done, I forced it into the pedal, or at least I thought I forced it into the pedal, and I power on. Right, love you. Love you. This was my first mistake. Okay, here we go, this is the start. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, let's do this. Three miles, that's all it is. And then my second big mistake was that I hadn't raised the seat high enough. So as I started to climb the first and toughest section of Box Hill, my thigh muscles immediately started to burn because I didn't have the full extent of my legs due to the aforementioned seat raising stupidity. And then mistake number three was that I forgot to hit start on my Garmin watch at the beginning. So the first few meters I hadn't recorded. So I had to turn around and do it again. I've balled it up already. Hang on, I've got to start again. I didn't hit go on my watch. Try that again. Okay, now I've got a clip in going uphill. This is an absolute disgrace. But right, come on, Ryan. Okay, we're in. Saddle is definitely not high enough, but whatever. It was raining. That's my excuse. Okay, go, go, go. I'm 
just testing my gears out to make sure Yeah, okay. I am not made for hills. Okay, there's something wrong with my cleat. Something wrong with my cleat, keep slipping out. Yeah, it's done it again. I don't want to stand up. Oh, I've done it again. I need new cleats. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, darn. I want to go down the middle of the of the paint. Oh my god. Dodgy cleat. He's ruined it. Just want to get to the top now. Not because I'm tired, but these cleats. Um, so, it was 11 minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, that's pretty good. But, my cleat kept coming out. Oh, there's no yellow bit to clip it in. No, I might do it again. I might change the cleats. I'm gonna see if I've got some in the car. Let's go and have a look, where's the car? Just here on the right. Can we get a cup of tea? Yeah. Can we do it when we're finished? So I can get a coffee. Yeah. Do you see I've got my flame socks on? They're work. hardly flame socks. Yeah, they are, just... in Swift. Oh. They're Adidas, but they're not Swift, but they're uh, flame socks. They're my flame socks. Don't disparage my flame socks. They're just orange socks. This is where people tell me that I put them in. I'm touching the lens. This is where people tell me that I'm uh, doing it wrong. Doing it wrong. If only I had someone here with me. Oh, if only. I need to put the seat up. I need to put the seat up. Oh, that's better. Okay. Right, let me check my cleats. Okay, that's not coming out easily. Let's do this. Okay, both cleats are in. I'm not gonna bomb it. Now I should probably give some context or at least describe the climb. Here comes Tracy behind me. Whoa, look at that view. This is Box Hill in the Surrey Hills, just south of London. It is 4.3 kilometers long. Crikey, can't get the GoPro to do it justice. Hang on. Has an average gradient of 3.9% and its steepest section peaks just over 10 percent. Super truck! Okay, all right, everyone calm down. We're having fun. Let's keep it that way. Woo. Spicy. Now I do like to make my videos exciting. However, I will say this is not one of England's most difficult climbs by any stretch of the imagination, but it was immortalized by the 2012 Olympic road race. And the top half section of the road up Box Hill still has the white road markings from that Olympic event. It is also quite a well-known climb in Zwift, which is where I've tackled it before. And considering I don't live a million miles away, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Jesus, that wind, that nearly knocked me off my bike. That nearly brought me to a complete standstill. I had to start pedaling and I'm going downhill. Let's do this, go. Let's do this. Okay, that's better. My seat's at a better, better height now. I can now power. For the record, and for anyone that's watching this with their head in their hands, my aim for the next six to 12 months is to become a much more competent cyclist. Oh, much better. And my cleats are in. That feels so much better. I get a huge buzz from doing things like this on my bright orange Ribble gravel bike. I've got the full extent of my legs. Unlike before. Believe it or not, and you probably don't believe it looking at me like a drowned rat in the rain, but I'm having a lot of fun attempting this. The trial and error steep learning curve, which is a lot steeper than the climb that I'm attempting here, 
is why I'm doing challenges like this one. Wrong gear. Now there's a wicked wind coming down off of the hill up there. Oh no, crunch, come on Ryan. with the finish. Now the good news is that I really enjoyed this attempt and I also enjoyed filming it. Tracy was really good and made the video so much more dramatic and exciting to watch. So I am going to return soon when it's not raining and I'm not nervy at slipping over on wet leaves, especially on the descent. Ah, oh, I don't know. Hey. Now that I know the course, I'll attempt to smash it as hard as I can to get a sub 10 minute PB. Looked awesome. So do you want to know my time? Go on in. 10.32. Woohoo, 10.32. Which I think I could do it quicker. Good weather you could. Is that your way of saying you want to go home? Yeah. So can I do it one more time? Oh, what? Or do you want to go? Oh. Should I just end the video now? Yeah. All right. Guys, what did I say it was? 10.32. 10, 10.32. I'll take that as my first attempt. That's actually my second attempt, because the first attempt was kiboshed. I'll take that, considering I've never done that before, in the rain. And you never fell off. And I never fell off. If ever there was a scenario that you'd guarantee you'd fall off, this yeah, would be it. This is it. All right, well done. Thanks for filming, Tracy. Did you do a good job? I think so. All right, shall I put it in the car? The record on Box Hill is four minutes and 37 seconds. Now that's mental fast. I'm never gonna beat that. I couldn't beat that in reverse straight down the hill, let alone up it. But I am gonna go for an eight minute time. That's what I wanna aim for. It'd be a lot easier to film if there wasn't other cars on the road. I know, it's so inconsiderate. We want a closed event. Yeah, and maybe if there was like three or four people, one on each station, yeah. rather than me having to do all of them. Now I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please consider hitting subscribe if you enjoyed it. See you in next week's video. All right, press stop now, that'll do.